You probably know that I volunteer to try and get kids interested in science and technology. And by now, I might have put out a video of me getting ready with some robots for an event that we ran last Sunday. Anyway, that all went fine. But there was a problem with one of the robots, which I'll show you in a second, where it's like a crane and the deck wouldn't rotate. So I've tracked it down to be a problem with a servo motor. So this is the good servo motor on the one that does work. We've got two. Um, but the other one I found a problem with the motor. It was going to be a two minute job. Now it's not. It's long enough to qualify as an odd job. Now I'm, I'm quite a way through this already. So I'll put in some still shots of the problem. Uh, it's basically they're uh, permanent magnet motors, DC, and one of the windings has come uh, adrift and is getting tangled up. And I'm going to try and re-terminate it. Anyway, I'll show you. So these are the two robots I'm talking about. And this is the action where we have a problem. The deck isn't swiveling. And so we've got a motor here with a, a reduction gearbox on it. This is the good one. And then the other one is in pieces. Just give me a second. So that's the reduction gearbox. I've got a number of still shots I've taken and I'll just have to put those in. I didn't think about videoing when I got started on this. Anyway, so if we move across, we can see the motor body. Excuse the shaking. There's the motor body and the back plate. And then I've got the armature in the vise. Excuse the wobbling again while I find this. There we are. <laughs> Not very big, is it? And you can see those loose wires. Oops, too close in. So anyway, one of the windings had come out and was getting wound around the armature. So I'm going to try and re-terminate it. But this stuff is tiny. Look at my finger there. Wish me luck with this. But I think there's a chance because the termination is just on the back here. it will just lose one loop out of the winding. I'm sure it'll be fine for this. Let's see if it'll tin at least. The wire must be lacquered, but I'm hoping the heat will be enough to get the uh, lacquer off it. Mm, don't know. Yeah, I think so. Okay, here goes. I need to bring that back. Probably got my fat thumbs in the way, and there are builders next door making a noise as well. And I need to solder it onto that point there. Don't know if you better see this, really. Let's try. And try not to destroy the commutator, or the anything. Did it work? No. Okay, I'll do this off camera. Right, I tinned it in the right place. I wound the wire around this uh, solder contact a few times and now I just need to cut it off. But look, just look at the size of these snippers compared. Uh, I better do this off camera. It's a bit hard to get the camera on that, but now I need to get this armature into the casing. I need to get this armature on without bending those brushes out of place. So I need to drop this case onto the armature. When you come back, this will be done. Well, no surprises. When I got close, the armature was sucked into the case by the magnets. But there's enough sticking out here, I think, um, to see what I'm doing to get past the brushes, and then we'll push it together. I've connected it to the controller. Let's see if it works. <laughs> I have no way of knowing if all three of the windings in there are working, or whether it's just two now. But at least it keeps the wire out of the way, and it won't jam anymore. All right, start by getting the motor screwed into the body of this gearbox. I have forgotten to put the drive gear on the end of the armature, but I think I can do that um, with it in place. This is the other half of the casing that goes on top, so I'll have to flip this over. It's got a spring on it, which I mustn't lose. Five screws. Connect this up to the controller and see if it still works. All right. Where are we? On. Controller on. Ah. The motor's running. The gear's not turning. 
So what have I done wrong? Well, I found the problem. I didn't push this pinion on far enough onto the armature. So it's driving this gear, but it's also sticking up a bit and locking this gear. And now it should be all right. But the gearing is so great, it's very difficult for this gear to turn this pinion. But I can see it's free, look. All right, cross our fingers. I have not tested this. Oh, ho, 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 right. All that work for a two penny motor, but it's a long way to China from here. Come on, that's it. So that gear that you could see on the gearbox comes through this deck and connects with a ring gear on the bottom of this. Do you know, these screws are not long enough. I've got another robot to look at yet. But we'll call that job done, I think, for this. <laughs> Try the other way then. Go on. This way. You know what? Whichever way you want. <laughs> Go on then. Okay. Press the two together, forwards, let's say, or backwards, backwards, towards you. That's it. Um. <laughs>